Time now to check in with Jennifer Kaznabis with more new car excitement and all the latest motor news. Those familiar with the Volvo brand have to agree that the company has been rather adventurous in the 90s, especially with the decade seeing a break out of the box styling and the introduction of some unvolvo like models. For the year 2000, that adventurous spirit is taking Volvo down market, but only in stature and price, because the new compact S40 sedan and V40 wagon retain the respected high level of build quality set forth by their larger siblings. And that, combined with a competitive price of $23,475 for the sedan and $24,475 for the wagon, make Volvo's sterling reputation for safety more attainable than ever before. And that reputation remains firmly intact in the S40 and V40, as they come standard with many of the safety features found on the more expensive models. Front seats feature three-point seat belts with pyrotechnic pretensioners and seat-mounted second-generation side impact airbags that protect both the head and torso. There's also the WHIPS whiplash protection system to protect front seat occupants in the event of rear-end collisions. The driver faces a dash and control layout similar to the S80s, only on a smaller scale. But there are still plenty of large car amenities like power-adjustable heated seats, in leather if you prefer, and adequate room in both front and back for full-size adults. The S and V40 are powered by an all-aluminum 1.9-liter dual overhead cam 16-valve turbocharged four-cylinder that delivers 160 horsepower and 170 pound-feet of torque from 1800 to 4800 RPM. Power is fed to the front wheels through a four-speed automatic transmission that features sport, economy, and winter modes. No all-wheel drive model is available yet. We'll have a more comprehensive test on the S40 and V40 soon, but if you can't wait that long, you can check them out now at your local Volvo dealer. And that's it for this week's Motor News.